In this episode, we take a tiny little step towards fixing the brakes on Project Low Fairmont. Alright, Welcome to the channel. My name is Green Tommy. This is Straight Six Fan. We like to focus on budget minded, relatable, creative builds. A little something I like to call offbeat, hot rodding in today. Well, so work has slowed down a little bit. Um, enough for me to recapture my sanity. Part of the reason why last week's upload was so short too was we just we were traveling on the weekend as well, so I didn't get any time out in the garage here on Sunday. But today we're sort of going to start working on Project Low Fairmont again. Um, long term, I think what's really probably going to happen is I think about February 9th is another significant date for me at work, or the 7th actually, but the 9th would be next available Sunday, where I think I'm going to pull Project Low Fairmont back into this bay, and it's going to be here until we get it done, finished. So that's going to be the brakes, and that's going to be the head swap, and that's going to be the exhaust. But, so anyway, to start to advance the brakes, let's sort of recap where we're at. Well, I don't know exactly what the problem is. I've found probably at minimum three culprits for the brake system. So first things first, it looks like there's some uneven pad wear going on based on the scarring on the rear driver's side rotor, as well as when I was first reinstalling the master cylinder uh, to make one last fitment adjustment, I bent with my hand the brake line coming off the front part of the master cylinder which serves the rear part of the brakes and I may have kinked the line. Now I do know we are getting fluid back there because the rear calipers both bled just fine. Um, so I'm not really thinking that that's a huge issue but if I'm going to take the master cylinder off again to install this guy, I'd just as well redo that line to eliminate all variables. So this guy, what is this guy? This is a stock Mustang GT brake booster. And it's really not that I need a bigger sized booster or anything for this brake system to work. You know, a booster is only, it's vacuum operating and it's basically your power assist. This is what gives you power brakes. While the diaphragm is much thicker on the GT, that is not anything that I'm concerned about. It comes right here at the push rod. As you can see, there is a threaded end here and a little set screw. Uh, to help adjust this distance and from everything I've read I think that is one of the things I'm battling right now that when I put the new master cylinder on I think that the relationship and we'll know more when I have time to take it off whether or not this is the case but I believe the relationship between the stock push rod on the Fairmont which is a fixed one it does not have this adjustable piece it's just one set length and the plunger inside the master cylinder versus my new versus the stock might be different. So this is just a little security blanket to make sure we can kind of fine tune and set how fast that rod engages the plunger in the master cylinder. So what does that mean for today? Well, basically I'm going to refinish this guy because it is, well, it's just straight up ugly. Um, so I'm going to sand this down and repaint it, and uh, that's probably going to be the extent of what we do today. Um, but it's it's getting us one step closer to having everything we kind of just need to, uh, to tackle all of the problems come, well, I think I might just call it Fairmont February. Now before I get to sanding, I am going to just wipe it down with a little bit of water, but I wanted to show you something. Um, I decided to put this sign up in the garage. Uh, still no brakes, so this will remain up until we get Project Low Fairmont's brakes done. But this is a tribute to uh, ASIC Eric's channel, another YouTuber. So if you don't know who he is, I'll leave an info card up over here. Um, but yeah, he's got a killer 77 uh, Camaro that he is E28 that he's uh, he's doing a resto mod and like full body restore and just the uh, insane amount of body work he's doing. So go check out his channel as well.
definitely try maybe probably a little bit harder than this on prep work, but considering where this part's gonna be, um, uh, you know, this is good enough for me. I guess it's also a reflection of my, uh, oh, what do you wanna say, emotional health uh, towards the project. Um, I guess I'm trying to ramp back up into <laughs> caring more, but just, you know, how bad the break situation went. It really has me down on the project as a whole, but uh, yeah, I mean, it's really like from this flange forward is what I want to look the best. Um, and then everything else is kind of gravy. So anyway, uh, I'm gonna hit it with kind of some uh, lacquer thinner or something, because the rotary wheel, shot a little oil over places so I want to degrease it and then I'll mask it up and paint it. So today's all about looking around like MacGyver in the garage and finding anything that's just gonna work for what you're gonna do and uh, this box is just the perfect height to just barely catch the flange I wanted to get to and stand it up. I put it on this extra sheet metal I have so that'll catch the overspray so let's go. All right, just enough uh, semi-gloss black I have laying around. It's pretty close to empty, but it's gonna have to work. struggles on Project Load Fairmont, I've had many a people say, hey, you might check or run through your brake lines all the way through, make sure they're not rusting out and you're not losing fluid. That way somehow, and the only other place I could think of to check is a brake line does run actually through the interior of the car. And I touched around on the carpet and I didn't feel anything wet. The master cylinder doesn't seem to be losing fluid or the level doesn't seem to drop, you know, every time I drive it. So I, Definitely don't really suspect that that's happening at all, but um, I, I just as well check it just to be sure. The only other thing I can think of is because I did put that uh, sound deadening material, which is foil faced, down. Maybe, just maybe, the face of that is coming into contact with the brake line, which would cause it to rust if they're dissimilar metals. Um, so I'm going to just at least pull the carpet up on that edge a little bit, and that should be, you know, I should be able to check that out pretty quickly, you know once and for all. But that's gonna do it for this episode. Like, comment, share, subscribe. I don't really care which one you do, as long as you do one. If you wanna support my channel, I highly recommend you think about going to my Spreadshirt store, which there's a link in the description below, and either picking up a 3060s 198 t-shirt like this one, or the flagship straight six fan Pistons tee. Um, just a quick reminder too, Car Guy and Six Fan Show, this week it is on my channel, but uh, don't forget I do co-host that with another channel, Old Car Auto Guy. I'll leave a link to his channel up over here um, because if he succeeds, I succeed, and vice versa. Go check out his channel if you haven't already. That's going to do it for this episode, and until next time, peace out.